Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Welcome to Dallas, guys. And we are doing a really yucky hoard today out in Farmersville. Just never seen that many roaches in one place in my life. Are you ready? Oh, so delicious. Look, the bugs like it. That thing is great. Oh, what the fuck? There was a lizard. to Dallas, guys. I'm Deidre. I am the owner of the Plano location, uh, Spalding Decon franchise, and we are doing a really yucky hoard today out in Farmersville. This is Jared. Yes, Jared Reap, um, project manager, and this is going to be an interesting one. I've seen some pictures. I have not seen this one in person. I have. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Did you catch that? Oh my god. So that, that's what you're looking at there, Jared. Cockroaches fall off the door when you open the door. Okay, maybe I will wear my respirator. Yeah, this looks a little different from the estimate, but it's still nasty. I mean, she's being evicted, so she's not happy. We've got all of our little friends in the corners, up on the ceiling. Oh, come look at the kitchen. So this place doesn't disappoint, right? Hey, the bedroom's trashed out. That's good. So she took her bed. There was a bed in here and a bunch of stuff. That's gone. But there's still cockatiel roaches hanging out. And when I was here for the estimate, uh, uh, two cats were still left at the place and they were hiding under the bed. So clearly they've now been fetched and they're not here anymore. So I'm happy about that. <sighs> Oh, it's a nightmare. Go look at the ceiling of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can smell it from here. Disgusting. I don't know uh, another word. It just confirms, reconfirms for me that mental illness is alive and well. Um, that place has never been cleaned ever. And those poor kitty cats were living in that environment. Um, the renter is now gone and left behind their situation. Um, it, it's yucky. It's yucky. Uh, we, we can't breathe in there the way that it is. It smells too much like a toilet, like an unclean toilet. Because that's what it was. She was letting the apartment be used as a toilet by her, her pets. So um, everything's going. It's a complete trash out. The carpet is, is going and he has asked us to do a little bit of cleaning not like cleaning clean because they have to like go in there and do a bug bomb because there's so many roaches in there so like cleaning cleaning is pointless but um he wants to try to make it smell less like urine because it smells like urine in there uh so we're gonna do our best we may have to come back at a, a different time to do like the cleaning cleaning part because they got to get all those roaches out of there first i'm getting myself psyched up for the i'm gonna make a difference uh thing because I love this work and I love seeing the afters uh, of, of what we do. And I know that, you know, the lady wasn't in her right mind who, who did this to the apartment. The owner just needs a, a clean place again so that he can rent it to somebody else. And that's where we step in, is to come in and make that difference and help this fella, um, you know, reclaim his property. So um, that's where I am right now, is getting myself excited about going into that environment because it's yucky, it's yucky. Who wants, nobody wants to be in there. I can smell that place down here. From up there, we're watching the bugs come out of the door and crawl on the outside of the apartment right now. I have to go to my happy place to be thrilled about going back up those stairs to do this work. So that's what I'm doing right now, the long of the short of it. Oh. Ah! Ah! 
<laughs> What's the screaming today? Yeah, here's the fog girl. They tried to kill some of them. I can do this. Uh, I just, I don't like bugs. Uh... I don't want them on me. I don't want them crawling on me. So I'll do the work, but I'm going to do it like a little girl. You know, I'm like, <laughs> and you're probably going to get screaming later today. I love them. <laughs> They're great. And I yeah. like scaring Deidre even more. <sighs> Makes for a good day. Bugs don't really bother me that much, but I'm not a big fan of human shit or urine. Those make for a bad day at a whorehouse. I don't like seeing the dirty diapers or the people that don't even wear diapers and just decide to shit on the floor. Yeah. So, uh, those definitely are my least favorite. So we're getting the smaller debris bagged up to get out of the way. Uh, I have two more technicians coming, but it all has to go. And I don't want to do nothing while we're waiting on them, so we're going to bag up all the trash that needs to be bagged up. Yeah, what's your favorite part about the job? The favorite? Probably discussed animals. <laughs> it is Dumbo. And he doesn't have any bugs on him. And how about this vintage cabbage patch doll that had his nose chewed off? I grew up in a house like this, so I'm not surprised that my life kind of came full circle and now I'm doing this work. Uh, I, it's very healing because I think it goes back and heals the things I could never do for my parents because they're both dead now. So yeah, there's some psychological bullshit head fuck going on in there. Why I think this work makes me uh, feel the way it does, how it gives me the uh, higher power sensation. Like I, I feel God in my chest when I do this work. My mother was a clean freak growing up. so. I was raised to do my chores before I could even do anything on Saturday. So just me knowing that people actually live like this, you know, it, it's upsetting. Um, and I hope, uh, I hope whatever she was dealing with, uh, I truly hope that she can move on from it and start a new life. You know, you want to laugh at it and, and, and go, ew, it's so gross, but there's a lot of pain going on in this apartment. I don't know how to help people. I'm not trained for that, but I can certainly make the situation that was created better. So that that's our contribution to our community. I took my glasses off, so I can't see the bugs so much. It's helping. It's helping. I'm staying disassociated. Bubba. It's in your hair. Do it. It's in your hair. Oh, Is it? Okay. All right. If Jared doesn't stop telling me that bugs are crawling on me. I'm gonna kick him in the balls. Bag number 15. Oh, fantastic. Jumbo iron. Mm. Are you ready? Oh, so delicious. Oh, so yummy. I'm so glad the respirator's on. Look, the bugs like it. Mmm, tasty. How long do you think that's been there? I don't want to know. Chris and Sam, I sent them to do a viral disinfection this morning, and so now they are joining us to do this very fun job. I'm Sam, and I'm a technician for Spalding Decon. We've been working together now for about four months. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a technician for Spalding Decon, and I've been working here for about um, two months. Oh. Lift it up. Excellent. It's nasty. <laughs> no, I've never seen this many roaches. It's like a real life feel factor. Never seen. This is, reminds me of like Men in Black, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. They say like if you get enough roaches in your house and you can tell because they have like a certain smell, like a musk. I think I know what they mean now. Take off your respirator. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Go on, Christopher. I'll do it if you do it. I'll do it. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. No. No. What? You said take off my respirator. Your turn. Does it smell? Does it smell better? <laughs> yeah, it smells great. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh yeah. No, this is staying on. 
Deidre doesn't get into pissing matches like the boys do. So no, I'm not taking off my mask. Oh no. Get that camera on my face. I don't like the roaches. I personally hate roaches. I'm just glad they're not any bigger. We're gonna treat the sub for cat urine, but after they get rid of the bugs. They can't, I just saw them. They can fly, they can fly. <laughs> you can play. I've been talking about that. This, this, this is why I keep these two around, because they, they make the jobs way more fun. I hate working with him. <laughs> This is the really nasty part of this job. It's super hot. It's Texas, so it's probably like 98 degrees out right now. The hottest job that I've done so far was somebody passed away in a garage and there was no AC and we had to do it in the heat of the day for like six hours. That was a really bad one. Initially. You can scream, just stay here. <laughs> just stay here. Just don't run away. <laughs> I definitely feel like I've already learned a lot about myself today. You're just as brave or desperate for money as <laughs> I need a drink. Well, we're good. We're going to do this. Brand spanking new carpet. I feel like I'm stepping on like roaches more than I am actual flooring at any given time. Because you are! <laughs> Yeah. I'm about to. I got a fucking handful of it. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Lord Jesus. <laughs> it smelled like when your dog eats a bunch of poop and throws it up. It smelled like a dog ate a bunch of poop and then got shot and then that dog got eaten by a dog that ate poop and then the poop got put into a pot and then boiled and then sat in an apartment for 10 years and then that's what that smelled like. That's descriptive. <laughs> we are at a midway point with this job. Actually, a little more than midway, but it's it's time for us to take a break, load up what will fit in the van to take to the landfill, um, because there's no way everything coming out of this apartment will fit in one trip. So it's it's, it's going to be two trips anyway. I eat two things: beef and Mexican food. All right. So Mexican. Tony's Mexican restaurant, and the same shit every Mexican restaurant guy. Bean burritos and enchiladas? Yeah. Okay. They got a big old cock meat sandwich for you too. <laughs> kids, kids. There's a Sonic right there. Oh my gosh. If I had a little easy, you'd be out like that right now because... <laughs> Sonic! <laughs> Don't put that on Instagram. Because I love their Diet Coke with cherry and easy ice. That's what I drink now because... Sonic, give us free stuff. Because I'm I, Jared I mean, and I like Copenhagen. <laughs> <laughs> Load up a fat dip before I go clean this decomp. Okay. What's your Deidre impression? <laughs> Guys, I really want some Sonic. <laughs> I need my Diet Coke with cherry. I do. I do. I'm Chris and I'm going to need to order a burrito, no cheese, no sour cream, easy on the tomatoes, double wrap it. Oh, uh, also, are there any animal products that are going to be in there? <laughs> uh, last but not least, Mariah. 
<laughs> Man, y'all <are> wild <laughs> as fuck. Deidre and the young boys went to the landfill to unload the van. Old guy's gonna stay here, save my back, and not lift those three couches. Um, I'm gonna fill up a couple of trash bags. I'm gonna try to empty out some cabinets, uh, maybe in the bathroom and in the kitchen, see if we can get a little head start before they come back and finish this thing. This may be a little bit bigger because they've been eating on all this crap in the sink. Anytime we're dealing with one and we've got these roaches you always get home and when you get in bed you think that you got things crawling all over you yeah i definitely think that uh maybe not right now but later i'm gonna be thinking that they're all over me so you just found a jar full of dead roaches yeah uh i don't know if this person was saving them or, or what so it's kind of weird that this is completely full <laughs> Just never seen that many roaches in one place in my life. Keep watching, like and subscribe, follow on Instagram, get on Facebook, smash that like button, and keep watching you know these saying? nasty no spalding decon videos. You know what I'm saying? We Paul, we spalding decon. We we the best. We 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 never gonna stop deconning, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna decon today. We're gonna decon tomorrow, and we're gonna keep deconning, alright? So you know, just get used to it. It's gonna get happen. Back to work. <laughs> so this job is done. It's done for what it can be done. Uh, there's too much damage and way too many uh, bugs left in there for us to do the cleaning part of this job. Sometimes you just don't know what you got until you, you know, peel all the layers off. So um, I am going to have to get with the client after this and go over the pictures to see what he would like to proceed with next. Um, I need those bugs out of there before we come back and clean. And uh, because there is so much damage to the floor and the countertops, um, and the cabinets uh, and the linoleum part of the floor should it be clean if it's gonna be demoed because I see a lot of demo going on in there. So we're gonna get with the client and see uh, see what he's thinking. We're Spalding Decom Plano. We have the most fun, we're out here working and every time we clean up a mess, we have a mess of a time. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yes, uh, Spalding Decom Plano uh, may not be number one in sales but we're pretty damn close and we provide the best quality. Chris? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Deidre killed it. <laughs> How is Deidre as a franchisee? How is she as a leader? Uh, De <laughs> Deidre honestly is uh, probably one of the best people I've worked for, I have to say. Yeah, this is a great group. We have a lot of fun. Uh, I think we can provide a lot of laughter. Whether you're laughing at us or just <laughs> we're laughing at or, each other. Or we're laughing at each other either way. But uh, you know, hopefully this uh, this video gets some likes and uh, who knows, maybe we get Miss Tampa to come back and film us again. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations. That's it guys. On to the next.